Hi guys, so today's video is going to be a bit of a different video. Wow, I said that so quickly. But um, basically, I made a large playpen for the hamsters and the gerbils. Right now, Pop is currently inside that house and he's not been out of that house for about half an hour. He's not been out that long, I'm just exaggerating. Probably about five minutes, but um, he, he doesn't seem to want to come out and play. He's kind of stuffing his pouches. But we'll give him a cute factor of about 20 because all you can see is his little paws. He might be a bit tired so I'll pop him back soon. This is kind of like an attic um, where I have put it. It's away from my dog and it's safer than downstairs because I don't want to risk my dog. It's in her nature to eat it so she will do. Um, basically I have a balcony area in my room. What would be in the attic space, my dad converted, so I'd have like a comfy kind of area. And I can't actually stand up in here because it's only that tall and I'm much taller than that. Um, but I have the gerbil tank and the hamster cage just down there. So it's just kind of like you've never been up here. So it's nice up here for me and it's, it's nice for the pets as well. So I started off by taking a rug, covering it in bin liars to make it waterproof and then chucking some Ikea fleeces over it and tucking it underneath. And I was going to use bulldog clips, but it seemed quite secure. I might get some um, if it does come a bit slack. And then I've just added loads and loads of different toys, like the tray of that old cage. You can see how small it was compared to this area. Um, and then they've got like little houses. They've got all sorts. And then I just used this cardboard, which I cut to a level which is nice and high so they can't jump over. And then just here, if I uh, bend you down, they have like a little joint which joins them like that so it's nice and secure and it isn't going anywhere. So I'll just get some ultra cute little footage of the hamsters and the gerbils enjoying it up here. I hope you 
you really enjoyed this video and if you want any tips on playtime with your pet then just check out my channel because I have a video on that. I'll leave that in the link in the description and I hope this has inspired you to maybe make a play area for your pet because I really advise taking them out um, for playtime just um, to handle them and get to know them and it just really helps as well because they won't be as bored and bad behaviour will kind of discontinue after this. If It'll just make them a much happier animal because I know I'd hate to be cooped up. So I hope you really enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.